guys, thank you so much for coming in today. Were you able to find the office okay and all that? Yeah, yeah, it was easy enough. Yes. Awesome. Well, I think it's so awesome that both of you came here today. I've had a lot of training with therapy and families, and the way I see it is you guys are an expert of your relationship and your family, so it's super important that both of you are here. Um, I'm going to start off by hearing just a little bit about what the problem is here. We just have been arguing pretty much nonstop for about six months, and I feel like our relationship is not anywhere close to where it used to be. Okay. Yeah, so about seven months ago or so, like, my um, dad passed away, and ever since then, like, my mom has, like, kind of declined in her health, and so, like, she couldn't live on her own anymore, and so she moved in with us, and I think that's probably a big reason, like, I've had to put a lot more focus on her, um, because she lives with us, and so, like, our, we, like, our relationship has been struggling a lot and like we just haven't, I don't know, we haven't had the time. I haven't had the time for him. So with your mother moving in, there's just been kind of a change in your relationship. Mm -hmm. um, just not enough time for each other and just uneasiness in the house, different person living yeah. there and all that. That's understandable. Yeah. Um, so how will you know if therapy worked for you guys? What are you trying to get out of? I think just our my goal for therapy is at least to just stop arguing about everything. We bicker about the smallest things, like who's going to take out the trash. And it's just not pleasant to be around right now. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would say that, like, to stop arguing would be really, really great. And then also just to, like, spend more quality time together and, like, just get, like, the closest in our, like, marriage back. Okay, so yeah, definitely closeness sounds like a main issue here. Um, so from a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the ideal closeness that you guys could ever be, and 1 being not close at all, like living like roommates, not getting along at all, what do you guys feel like you are on the scale right now, and what makes you feel like you're that number? I think I'm about a 3, maybe a 4 right now. Um, just because, I mean, we have the closeness of physically being in the same place at our house, um, but, and, and our history also plays a role in it. Like, I know we've been close before, it just feels like we're on completely different pages right now. Okay. Yeah, I would probably say, like, a three or four, too, just because, like, we haven't been spending quality time, and I've been, like, really caught up with, like, work, and then my mom, and, like, having to deal with her, and just like being there for her that I kind of like neglected probably our time together and like our date nights like don't happen and all of that so that's probably why I feel like I don't know I get frustrated when he gets frustrated at me because it's like I'm doing the best that I can mm -hmm. like to be there for my mom and so like our arguing like oh, well, yeah definitely well I did notice that you guys were higher on the scale than a one which is really good um so what do you think that is going well so far that did make you a little bit higher on that scale? Um, probably that, like, we do still try to go on. I would say it's, like, one to two times a month, which, like, isn't what we would want. But, like, we still tr I try to make time for each other. It's just been, like, really hard. And, like, we have, like, a good, I would say we have a good relationship, but, like, there's just so much, like, extra pressure on, like, just on our relationship that it's causing us, but I still feel like we like have that. We still have each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the date nights do help because once we are like out of the house and just the two of us, we get along and we have conversations that we aren't like typically having at home. So I think that really helps kind of keep us a little higher than a yeah. one. Yeah, I get that a little night and here and there to yeah. spend together yeah um, it's always good like yeah those times are yeah, good. yeah right so going off of that can you guys uh tell me about a time like when you were closer um probably like, previously in your yeah relationship. probably like back i mean of course my dad was like my mom wasn't living with us like i had a lot more free time and 
like we would make sure that we had dinner together every night and we would do day nights probably once a week and just like watch the same shows together like we just spent a lot more quality time together and like it was great we didn't argue very much like mm -hmm. we just everything was great I mean, yeah I agree with her I think that time period was honestly like the best mm -hmm. in our relationship and then kind of just turned to this but prior to that we were almost inseparable yeah okay well, it's good to know that you guys were there at one point. Mm -hmm. um, so, within this next week or so, what do you guys want to get? Like, what number would you want to get to on that scale? And how? What changes are you willing to make to get you a little bit higher? Um, I mean, my ideal, like, if I to be like where you have been, like, I would say like probably eight or so, just because like, I mean, it was. It was just a really good time, but I think that maybe just um, like trying to like find more time to spend together mm -hmm. and like to especially out of the house because the house is kind of crazy right now. But I think if I like am able to kind of like not focus so much on my mom right now and like make sure that I still have time for him. So put a little bit more focus on the relationship. Him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would agree. I think I would like to try to get to a seven or eight as well. And I think that we would be able to do that by doing things that focus more just on the two of us. I understand that her mom's there and she's gonna be with us for a while. Um, so that's something that I've accept, I'm growing to accept. So if we could fix our relationship by leaving and kind of just focusing on the two of us. I think so you're help. looking for more date nights, maybe once a week or yeah, um, once or twice a week instead yeah. of once yeah. or twice a month. Especially like out of the house. Okay. Like. Well, thank you guys for sharing. Yeah, thank you. Yay, good job. I don't know how to turn it off. I don't want to like ruin it. But it was Is it still recording? Hello. <laughs>